a lot of people getting excited for football back here at Carleton University. Joining us is the Carleton Ravens head coach, Steve Sumara. Uh, Sumara, great to have you here on the show. Thank you. So nice to see Josh Kobe back. Switching, uh, we'll just say switching colors. How, how's that? So wonderful to have you guys here. And we're talking about a uh, wonderful junior program that's uh, actually happening. So I just want to start with you. Exciting to be kind of back here, football, the area coming up for people who aren't familiar, just kind of the all-star quarterback at one point. Uh, once all the snow is gone, yeah, yeah. I think we're all very excited for football season. And uh, regardless of what colors I'm wearing, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to be a part of football in Ottawa. Uh, there is a real excitement. And I think for you guys to start incorporating people thinking Carlton Ravens football again, and this is a, an important kind of grassroots program for you guys. Absolutely. I think one of the exciting things about having Carleton back is it just brings football back into the forefront some more. And, you know, I think our role as a, as a university is to help develop uh, and grow the, grow the sport in the area. I, I like the fact that there's actually some players players that are kind of uh, recruits people that you're looking at kids that you that you're seeing and seeing their yeah. personalities and the way they are coming in and that's nice for you to have some of those players as coaches for these clinics absolutely and I think what's exciting for those guys is they get a chance to kind of see um, when they re remind themselves of when they were young and yes. getting a chance to do this and uh, yeah we're pretty excited one of those uh, players is Andrew right now who's putting two other players uh, through the uh, through the drills we have a uh, Z and Adam actually playing for us so these are young kids so what are these clinics about because it'll start in two weeks time and it will run they're quite intensive over the next couple of weeks well it's an eight-week camp and uh, you, we, we like to think of it it's, it's, it's basics football you know uh, at the ages we're we're looking at from 8 to 14 we want to keep it very introductory um, so we cover the most basic football Ball skills such as this drill here is a simple handoff drill. Uh, it's very important to uh, know how to have a relationship with a quarterback and running back. And see here, we just switched positions, so um, now Aiden is quarterback and and Z is now running back. So we like to expose the kids to uh, a variety of skills, as many positions, so that they get a feel. At eight, at eight years old, they're not quite sure where they are going to fit <laughs> exactly. on a football field. Is it intense for you? I mean, because they're going to be going Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It, it is, but I think what uh, what it does is the intensity also ups the level of development. And that's one of the reasons why we did it. We wanted to make it a, you know, an, an eight week period in the spring. It's a, it's a perfect time. And, you know, we'll try to keep those kids away from maybe uh, spring hockey and soccer <laughs> and, and, and steal is, those athletes. You, you felt that, haven't you? You know <laughs> yeah. what it's like here in the city. Okay, I just want to come over. I'm going to grab this from my, from you. Uh, Andrew, I know you're wearing a mic uh, as well. Is this nice for you as a player to, to see younger players coming through, but for you to get a little bit more of a feel for what's happening with the Ravens program? Yeah, I mean, um, we definitely want to make, uh, football predominant in Ottawa you know we want these kids to grow up and you know, obviously play for the Ravens but um, you know when they're uh, 16 17 we want the recruiters to be like hey let's go to Ottawa that's where the best football players are you know I didn't have the opportunity to start football until I was in eighth grade and these kids starting eight nine years old that's fantastic you know it's gonna make them that much better players and you too I mean you'll get to see some of the jewels as you're kind of heading in from this set uh, you know from grade 12 and then getting yourself into playing for the university yeah good luck with that thank you good luck with that wait I have Andrew and Z here so are you looking forward to the camps yeah what are you looking forward to most uh, the coach is helping you know it's just great for the Ravens to be back and it's even awesome that they're helping the youth and hopefully they're helping the, this year's in the cafe season so you're excited yeah you're excited okay let's try over here see I'm right see running in heels it's pretty cool <laughs> what are you most looking forward to about the camps uh, just to uh, improve my game, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, is are it more of the drills? Is it some of the camaraderies, meeting other players that are your age? Uh, yeah, it's probably a little bit of both. A little bit of everything, eh? Yeah. Well, good luck. And the one thing I wanted to mention I didn't get to is the, the equipment. The one thing that's yeah. different with you guys, you guys are providing the equipment. Absolutely, yeah. It's, uh, we've uh, went out and purchased 150 sets of equipment, so there will be no needs for the kids to bring in their own equipment, which uh, we're very proud to offer. That is an amazing thing, absolutely. So for parents who might not be able to afford at least that part of the sport, see if their kid likes it, if they excel at it, if they want to do it before they start to invest to in other things. So congratulations absolutely. on that. Uh, a lot of information available on their website. That was listed on your screen. Uh, keep in mind the first yeah, camp starts April 19th. Oh, it will run through nice. eight different weeks, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Pleasure. Nice to see you again, nice by the way. Too.